Hi, I'm John Twist, and today I'm going to show you how to static time your car using nothing but a 12-volt test light. The first step in static timing is to move your crankshaft to about 10 degrees before top dead center. Now, these are highlighted with a yellow paint pencil. I'll probably get my wrench in the way, and of course, I said we're just going to do it with a 12-volt test light, but in fact, we've got to use a wrench to move this. On other cars, you can put it in gear and fourth gear and, and pull it. Uh, you can use the fan belt and some pressure and the uh, fan blades and move it, but whatever you do, in this case I've moved this to 10 degrees before top dead center. If you go beyond, you have to come all the way back and come at it again to account for the slack and the timing chain. First step, get it to top dead center. I have already removed the cap so that's not in the way. We get our dipstick out of the way. Now, the bolt on the side of here should be quarter inch British, sometimes it's 7 16 American. Either, either, uh, either wrench will fit, most usually. Now we take our 12 volt test light that's here and pull our lead off the distributor down here, the low tension lead. Put our test light up against this low tension lead here and connect the other end of our test light to something hot. And if my cameraman's in the right spot, you can see that my, that my test light is on. So we hold our rotor clockwise, rotate the distributor clockwise, easy for me to say here, this is pretty tough to move, rotate the distributor clockwise until our light just goes out. Right there, okay? That's it. Usually when you shake the rotor up and down, you can get it, I'll back this uh, distributor back up just a touch. Usually you can get the rotor to, there it goes, winking on and off because of the uh, slight um, looseness of the rotor, the distributor shaft. So, again, this is pretty simple. You run the engine around until it's at 10 degrees before top dead center. In the case of a T-Types, it is top, it, you start at top dead center. But B's and A's, you start at 10. Then you put the test light between something hot and the low tension lead on the distributor. Then hold the rotor clockwise to get the automatic advance all, all, all the way off and turn the distributor clockwise until the light just goes out. Now if you saw that light just barely came back on again there as I w wiggle the vacuum advance unit it winks on and off but I'm all set and I can go ahead and, and uh, tighten it up and we'll show you that it starts. Alright now I've already put the cap and wires back on. I'm going to use the same trick we used the other day to we will start the car in this by jumping the fuse box with my, my test leads here. And we're going to hit the starter motor and see if our timing was successful. Static timing, the easiest way to time your engine. Roll it around to, to uh, the static setting, which on an A or a B is 10 degrees before top dead center. On a T type is top dead center. Then connect your test light between the low tension lead on the distributor to something hot. Hold the rotor clockwise and turn the distributor clockwise until the light just goes out. Of course this doesn't work on electronic ignition. That's more complicated. So thanks a lot. We'll see you guys tomorrow.